Hey guys, and a very warm welcome back to What's For Tea. If this is your first time stopping by, hello and welcome, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today I'm making traditional Scottish tablet. The only thing I can actually compare this to would be fudge, but unlike fudge, it's actually, it's not chewy at all and it's quite crumbly. Kids absolutely love this stuff and it's so, so sweet. But I mean, you don't need a lot of it, just a wee chunk will do. You don't want handfuls of the stuff, you'll be absolutely vibrating. <laughs> so guys, this is what you're going to need if you want to give it a go. You're going to need two pounds of caster sugar. Yeah, that's a lot, but like I said, it's so, so sweet. A tin of condensed milk, around 370 grams, it doesn't need to be exact. A teaspoon of vanilla extract or essence. A quarter of a pint of a whole milk, full fat milk and 125 grams of unsalted butter. You don't want salted butter, just get the unsalted. So let's go over to the cooker. So the first thing you want to do is melt your butter in the pan. And to that you want to add your milk and give it a wee spurs round and add your condensed milk as well. And once that's warmed up, you just uh, throw your sugar in. and also your butter. So basically everything goes in till it's all melted, but keep back your, uh, don't add your vanilla essence, keep that back. So that's the sugar going in now. Just give it a good mix round. This is one of those things you really do need to keep an eye on. And I've decided to add some cinnamon today. I don't normally do this, but for some reason I just thought I'm going to add some cinnamon just to see what it's like. Cause I've never done this before, but it worked out so well. It was delicious. Now this is after about 15, 20 minutes. You want to keep it on a low heat for about half an hour or 35 minutes. And it's just going to keep darkening. But you'll know when it's ready, when it starts to have weak sort of... It looks like the surface of the moon is the best way I can put it. But like I say guys, you just want to keep an eye on it. You need to keep stirring it because you don't want it to burn because there's so much sugar in there. It's got the, you know, there's a high chance of it burning. So you need to stay with it. Don't, don't walk away. It's a bit time consuming, but it's worth it in the end. And this is after about 25 minutes and it's starting to look like caramel. And at this stage, you just put your vanilla essence in after about half an hour or vanilla extract I think it's got a few different names actually and you can see it's getting lovely and thick there it's only got about another 10 minutes to go it's so smooth That that's the advantage of you know staying with it and stirring it as well because you're going to get that lovely smooth texture so the next thing you want to do is pop it into a stand mix. Uh, this is my Kenwood Chef. Um, if you don't have a stand mix, you can use a hand blender, it's fine. But um, if you're interested in one of these, Argos have got a fantastic deal on at the moment. It was £330, I believe, and it's now down to 200 So that's quite a bit of a saving. I mean, they're not cheap, guys, but uh, they make light work of this kind of thing. So you just want to mix it for about five minutes. I'm going to link the mixer um, down below in my description bar in case you're actually interested in buying one. Like I say, 330 quid down to 200 is a, bit, is a really good saving, so I will link it down below if you're interested in buying one. Well worth investing in because they do, I mean they come with lots of different attachments as well. They've got a bread hook and they've got the balloon whisk like I'm using here. Um, they've got four or five different attachments, so they're fab. So once it's been whisking for about five minutes, and then you can see it sort of coming away from the sides like that. I mean, it's really thickened up now. That's when you know you're ready to put it into your dish. So I'm using a loose bottom tray here, which makes it really easy for when it sets. You know, if you've got a loose bottom tray, you can just pop it out very easily. So you just want to put it into your dish. You can use any dish you like and just sort of press it down with the back of a spoon. Try and get it as compact and smooth as you can. And 
it's going to take about an hour to set, just over an hour, depending on how thick, you know, you make it. Just give it a wee pat down with the back of your spoon to make it nice and smooth on the top. And if you like as well, you could take a, a palette knife and put it in some boiling water and smooth it over the top, you know, if you like a nice glazed top. But I quite like the, the rustic look, you know, of how it is naturally. So I actually made enough for two pans because the pans I'm using are quite small. But if you're using a bit, if you're using a bigger pan, then you know you probably wouldn't need to make two. So this is it after about an hour and a half, and it's completely set. And you just want to run your knife along it and just to sort of cut it into squares. And like I say, guys, I'm using a loose bottom pan, so you basically just <laughs> pop the bottom out, and it's so easy. And you just slide it off. Oh my goodness. So, so easy. And then you just go ahead and uh, cut your squares out. Easy peasy. And it's absolutely fabulous. And that's it all cut up. And I just store this in a, an airproof container. Until it's needed. So that's it guys, thank you very much for popping along again and seeing what's going on. As I keep saying, but it's true, I really appreciate you popping by. So hope to see you in the next one and take care.